Hi, I'm Daniel Pometti, and I will show you how it works a uh, web control logic with automatic changeover system of the dual exciter. Moreover, we will see in this video how the transmitter works in any case, even if a exciter is fouled or any of the modules are fouled. So we will see how is the full redundancy of this Cortex transmitter. This is the 6 kW Cortex FM transmitter. This is the web control logic. We can see there is a dual driver. So from the main menu we can see how it works the overall transmitter, the forward power, the reflected power, the frequency, the audio label, all this uh, on air, all of the warnings, and all the setting of the transmitter. Moreover, we can set from here the power. We can see how it's working the driver A. In this case, it's the driver on air with 15 watts. And I can change from here the power set, the frequency, and all the parameters. You can see all the working parameters of the exciter. A. Then I can see the same from exciter B. This is off in this moment, and I can change, of course, power set, frequency, audio input, everything. Moreover, I can see how it works in the dual driver. This is the function we are interested to see now. We see there is the exciter 1 in on air, and the exciter B is on reserve. In fact, I can see that the exciter 1 is working, and the exciter B is at zero it's off. What we will do is just see what happens if first I turn off one exciter. I will go to exciter A, I may arrest it off. So, in this case, the forward power goes to zero, there is an alarm, the exciter A was off. I am simulating a fall from exciter A. After a few times, we will see how the Chrysler relay will switch and we'll put the driver B on air. And the forward power will come to the normal position. Now we can simulate the technician goes to the station, just take the driver A and repair it and install it again. Then goes leave the station. The transmitter is working in this way. Now it's working with the transmitter B on air. If for any case in the time, a new fault we have from the transmitter number B, I will simulate it, that's turning off. We will see what happens. All the transmitter goes off. Now it's sending me an email that tells that there is an alarm on the exciter, but we will see how the Quaxa relay will change and automatically will put on air the exciter A. And automatically everything comes again normal. All the transmitter has at full power. Now we will simulate the fault of a main thrust amplifier. We see we have in this moment six kilowatts. The transmitter is still giving the output power. Then we simulate that again I will repair the main the, the amplifier. transmitter will come back to the full power. All these things are doing automatically by the changeover system, changing the... And I have a dummy load in the way that I can, in any case, to test the reserve transmitter on dummy load, so I can just repair it on the station and then test it on the own dummy load. This is the combiner.
I can see many other functions like the history of what happens with the transmitter in the logs. I can see all the alarms that we had. All the things that we was doing now is recorded on the logs. Moreover, I can see the history chart of the transmitter and reflected power for each amplifier, the temperature. We can see as the temperature increased as the total power increased. I can ask to the transmitter to send me a mail. Another interesting function is the rating, where I can set the rating time in the way the transmitter decrease the output power depending on the order. This is some of the many functions that the Cortex transmitter has with the web control logic. The same thing I see in a web control logic I can see in a tablet, PC or a smartphone. Thanks for your attention from all the people of Teco Broadcast. Thanks again. Bye.